Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Curran, back again from my happy place. And today we're making seed tape, like I told you. So these are the things you're going to need. I have some about one inch thick uh, pieces of newspaper. I have a ruler, Sharpie, some Q-tips, some flour, and a little bit of cold water, and a spoon. And then today I have lettuce seeds that I'm planting. You can use whatever seeds that you have. You can use some of the flower seeds that we've gotten, or you can use something else. This works great for many different things. So what we're going to do is, first thing I did is I got my strips of paper and I took my ruler. Now, what you should do is you should read the back of your packet and find out how far apart you're supposed to plant your seeds. And then you mark your newspaper accordingly. So this says that I should plant them and then I should thin them to four inches apart, which means you kind of go through and, and take out some of the plants so that they have enough space to keep growing. So what I actually did is I went through with my Sharpie and my ruler and I marked X's on my newspaper where I want to put the seeds. So this is every two inches. Um, some of the seeds will not germinate and some of them will. So you want to plant more than you actually want and then you can go back and sort of move some things around if you need to so that they are four inches apart when they are growing. Now since I use my newspaper, or excuse me, since I use my ruler to mark the first piece, I don't really need to use the ruler again. All my newspaper strips are the same size so I can just go through and use my first piece as a guide to how far apart I want to put my seats. So you do that on all of yours. And I think on the last one, I'm going to go wild and just try to make sure I have it next to one that I've already done. All right, so we need to make a paste out of this flour and water. So start with a very small amount of water, maybe a teaspoon, and start mixing it in your flour. I went with a very small little bowl. So mine's starting to stick together, but that's a little bit thicker than what we actually want. So let's thin it out just a little tiny bit. You have to kind of just sort of play this by ear. There's no recipe to tell you exactly how much of each you need. You just sort of have to work it. You want it to be a liquid though. You don't want it to be as thick as this. So I already know that this is not how I want it. I need to keep adding water. So this last time, it seems to be working um, a little bit more. It's starting to turn it a little bit more liquidy. It's not just a big caked up ball around my spoon. So we are getting pretty close. Yeah, and that's exactly kind of how we want it right there. You want it like a really thick gravy. So this would be a really thick gravy, right? So that's kind of what we're looking for right there. All right, so now we're ready. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip because that's what we're gonna use. If you have a paint, little paintbrush, you could use that too. I'm using a Q-tip because that's what I have at the moment. Um, and either one works fine, but we're gonna basically be using it like a paintbrush. So now I'm gonna put my water and my spoon aside because I don't need them anymore. Now, I'm gonna take out some of my seeds. And so this is, like I said, just a lettuce mix. Looks like this. Uh, I'm gonna plant that out in my garden here soon. Um, now these seeds, are very, very tiny seeds. And it's a mix of different lettuces, so they don't all look the same. So I'm going to try to do a few different kinds um, each time I put some down. So what I need to do is, should have had a little piece of paper for my seeds, huh? Um, I can set them right on the table right here, that'll be fine. That'll actually be a pretty good place to work with them. My table's nice and dark, so it's easy to see where the little seeds are. All right, so you go through, you take your Q-tip or your paintbrush and you put a little dab on your X's all the way down. See why you don't really want it too thin or too thick. You just need it so you can put dabs. This is going to be like the glue that holds your seed to this newspaper. Now, newspaper will turn into dirt. It will also help hold water close to your seeds, which will be perfect. This 
flour paste. It's all natural, it won't hurt anything. It'll hold your seeds in place and it will help to keep uh, them from being eaten by birds or other things. And uh, the, being next to the newspaper will keep them wet. They should germinate quite nicely. Remember, germ is usually a bad thing. But when you're talking about plants, germinate is a good thing. That's when the seed casing gets soaking and the roots start to come out. And you guys know what happens after the roots come out. The plant comes up and that's what we're looking for. So now I'm going to take some seeds. Mrs. Kern's got very big fingers for this, but I just actually dropped two different seeds on that glue pot and you might want to do the same. Remember, all seeds are not going to germinate. So having a few extra seeds planted is never a bad idea. Uh, these stick really easily to that nice wet blob and so you just keep going along down with your seed paper until you have as many planted as you want. So this one is done. I'm just gonna pick it up, a little carefully, carefully, pulling gently on each end. And then I'm gonna set it somewhere and give it some time to dry. Once it's dry, those seeds will stay there. Then when it's time, maybe next week or so, because uh, lettuce is actually kind of like cool weather. Take this to your place where you want to plant it, lay it down on the soil, and then just take a little bit of maybe your potting soil mix. It's something that has a lot of the peat moss uh, and the vermiculite in it, and sprinkle it across the top, water it, and leave it. Come back and check. You want to make sure you water, but it gets to be a lot of fun. And if you overwater, things get moldy and they won't grow. So you kind of have to be careful. You want to check the surface of your soil. And if it's really dry, you put a little bit of water on there and uh, just enough to keep it moist. Give it a good watering every few days. Uh, if you had a lot of sun, you might need to do it more often. You need to pay attention to how much moisture is near there, how much water. Uh, and then your plants should start growing very nicely. This is a nice way to do it before you get outside with the bugs and all the other things out there right now. And uh, you can have it all laid out, lay it right into your soil. The newspaper will end up turning into soil itself so it won't be in the way. And your plants should have a great place to live. All right, friends, I'm going to finish with the rest of my lettuce seeds and then I'm going to head outside and have some fun in the sun. So I hope you guys have a good time with your seed tape and uh, send me some pictures. Let me know how it went. All right, take care everybody. See you next time at my happy place.